What is up, everyone? I'm I3D, and finally, we have some Texas Chainsaw Massacre news. As you can see here, IGN has just posted the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the first hands-on preview. Uh, I do apologize. Still a little sick. Jumped out of bed to get this video done, but uh, let's do it. We're going to go in. I only watched like the first five seconds. It looks like they are playing the game, and they break down everything about it. So we're going to go through, watch it live, and... Uh, see what see what cool things we can find out about the game right, i'm gonna go ahead and click play now play hold on hold on damn okay click play now oh my god oh shit Right off the bat. Adapting the classic 1974 horror movie, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, into an asymmetrical multiplayer game might seem odd on the surface, particularly when the team setup isn't the same 4v1 we've become accustomed to with the popular Dead by Daylight, but instead the even stranger sounding 4v3 arrangement. It works exceptionally well in practice, though, creating a tactical 10. So the first thing I want to point out is we get a look at the game's HUD. Okay, so look, we have Grandpa here. Bottles of blood, zero out of 100. So this is Leatherface, because you got the you got the chainsaw. This looks like his ability, maybe his three, three perks, I'm guessing. I don't know, this is very interesting. Grandpa, zero, zero out of 100. Wow, okay. And then we got Leatherface straight up cutting a door down. Adapting the classic 1974 horror movie, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, into an asymmetrical multiplayer game might seem odd on the surface, particularly when the team setup isn't the same 4v1 we've become accustomed to with the popular Dead by Daylight, but instead the even stranger sounding 4v3 arrangement. It works exceptionally well in practice, though, creating a tactical, tense, team-based multiplayer experience that favors brains over brawn. Whether you're on the victim team of four trying to escape or the serial killing family. I want to see what that said. Okay, so we have we have Sonny here trying to open open some gate. Wow, look at this is very interesting. And then we got his power down here, I'm guessing. Again, zero out of 100 blood for... Uh, so I wonder... If that's really the killer's goal here, collecting blood for Grandpa, some sort of deal, we'll figure out maybe. Or trying to escape, or the serial killing family trio trying to cut them down. Oh my Texas God! Texas Chainsaw Massacre's I just realized he cut his throat. Multiplayer format already plays great, and the 4v3 format is a great match for the movie license it's built around. Wow, this is. Developer so publisher Gun Interactive promises more maps for launch next year, but for this pre Okay, so he has the ability to break it said it said cut down the bones and then it also said silence the chicken. Preview session, I played a half dozen rounds in Texas Chainsaw Massacre's most recognizable location, the rural Texas house the film is set in. Victims start out in the basement and teamwork is encouraged and dare I say vital. There are only a few ways out of the basement and just two ways out of the house once you get upstairs. In other words, there are only two. Okay, this is the victim's HUD here. We got the, like, their heart. It's beating. I wonder if that has to do with, like, a fear factor. And I believe there are three perks in their ability. And then we have one, two, three, four, five health states, I'm guessing. Or wait, maybe not. This, is, this green bar looks like health. Two ways to win. Yes, only two because the victims can't kill the family, but instead only stun them. Only two ways to win. And then look here, we have your boy Leland going for the rescue. So when, so when the, the killers grab you, you have the ability two, to run up behind them and stun them. because the victims can't kill the family, but instead only stun them, further affecting the balance of power. They can, however, slip through narrow gaps in the walls and duck under barbed wire traps. Meanwhile, characters on both sides have unique skills. While the cook can listen closely to unstealthy Whoa. victims and add locks to doors for the family, cool. making it more time consuming for the victims to get through them, 
Connie, for instance, has a one-time oh, an ability to break a lock instantly. This can literally... That was an escape. ...family, making it more time-consuming for the victims to get through them. Look at the top here. Connie... And now she's escaped. So those underground... So those underground tunnels and those map pages that we saw that led outside the map does appear to be the escape. For instance, has a one-time ability or at least one to of break them. a lock two. instantly. This can literally mean the difference between victory and defeat, as in my final round, I was chasing down Connie as she made for the backyard gate. Meanwhile, the leather... Leatherface has rev chainsaw and stop chainsaw. He's also got grandpa at level one, it looks like. Her face of the franchise is big and not the slightest bit nimble, but he can use door. his chainsaw to cut through doors as well as destroy crawl space entrances and exits so that the victims have fewer. Look what you did to the damn door, Leatherface. Ah, uh, that's so cool. Navigation options. I reveled in his ability to rev his chainsaw and how that's tied to the power of his attacks. Swing your saw at a victim without revving it, and you'll do a bit of damage. Ooh. Rev it too high for too long, and it'll stall out. But if you catch the sweet spot of the rev range, you'll get a one-hit kill, complete with a quick and grisly cutscene. What? Okay, so he said rev the chainsaw a little bit, and you can get a quick slash. Rev it too much, the chainsaw will stall out. And then if you rev it just right, you can instantly kill them. That's a little crazy. Range, you'll get a one hit kill complete with a quick and grisly cutscene. Note that you oh, can I'm also stuck. turn the chainsaw off in order to move around more stealthily as the big guy. From first hand experience, I can tell you that this is immensely satisfying. Also, revving it while roaming the house allows him to very loudly induce terror into the hearts and minds of the victims. I think there's gonna be a fear mechanic with the heartbeat. He is my favorite character so far. Finally, the hitchhiker is the slickest and snakiest of the <laughs> serial killing trio. Oh, he's ready. He can get through those same small cracks and crevices the victims can, and I made sure to use his agility to whisk myself right to the Ooh. front yard as the match began, turning on the gas power generator that powers the electrified security system guarding the path to the road. He can also lay down traps that are guaranteed Okay, so it looks like it's confirmed that those underground tunnels that lead outside the map is one escape option, and then getting to the road is the other escape option. Then also, interestingly enough, he said that we can turn on a generator for an electrified fence. Teed to slow the victims down, either by ensnaring them directly or by Family putting them traps. in spots where the teenagers have to spend time disabling them. All three family members are wise to collect blood from around the house as well as from victims in order to feed Grandpa, the non-playable member of the family who acts as a sort of Sauron-esque all-seeing eye as the blood you feed him levels him up. He will occasionally shout and tag any victim who's moving in the moment he screams. And speaking of leveling up, there's a massive and persistent skill tree I didn't get to play with in this one-off demo session, but it promises to allow you to tailor your respective victim and family skills to your liking. I admit I enjoyed playing as the family more than the victims in my initial rounds. I had a blast trying to outsmart them despite being outnumbered. But no doubt, careful teamwork and coordination will pay off handsomely for good Whoa, okay, so we have a little uh, objective here, restoring the power, uh, match the fuse color with the correct slot, ensuring that amp value is met for each pair. Once completed, power will be restored in the basement exit will open temporarily. Wow, this looks interesting. We are a long way from F-13 sealed chats, dude. But uh, I'm, I'm digging it. Also, I've noticed that it says the, the location of everywhere they are, which is really cool. I wonder if that's gonna stay. Victim players, like when one of you goes to the top floor of the house and restores power to the basement. I'm telling you right now, I'm not smart enough to do that while Leatherface is chasing me. Like, I'm gonna be panicking. Exit, allowing their teammates another means of escape. 
Notably, too, victims are able to hide in dark corners of the house, in bushes outside, and sneak around quietly so as not to make a ton of noise and alert the family. As my developer guide put it, quote, just leaving a door open can hurt you in this game. The sheer number of tactics in play between these two starkly contrasted sides is impressive. More laudable is just how well Texas Chainsaw Massacre plays right now, despite its release date not being until sometime next year. The movie license hasn't just been slapped onto this game. Instead, it feels like an excellent pairing, and I can't wait to play more. For more on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, check out the uncensored gameplay trailer, as well as the game versus film comparison trailer. And for everything else in the world of video games, stick with IGN. Wow, so we learned a ton here. Very, very interesting stuff. We may have to do another video just like listing everything because this was a lot. But wow, this was very cool. Very, very cool. It's been over about, I think, like two months since our last little bit of information. So this uh, this makes up for it. Uh, let me know down below what stuck out to you. What do you want to talk about the most? What do you like? What do you dislike? We'll talk about it in the comments. Make sure to slash that like button. If you like what I do here, you'll want to support. Become a member of Slasher Game for as low as $1 per month. And uh, that's all I have for you till then. Subscribe. All that good stuff. Don't do drugs. Don't have sets. And oh yeah, don't have